So who exactly is Ersan Ilyasova? If you're an NBA fan, Ersan Ilyasova might be a name that you're familiar with. Ilyasova was rostered in the NBA from 2009 through 2021. He's mostly remembered for his long tenure with the Milwaukee Bucks, and he had a couple stints with other teams between 2015 and 2018. Some would probably refer to him as a journeyman in the later part of his career. Ilyasova was born in May of 1987 in Turkey. Before his NBA start, the 6'9 Turkish sharpshooter racked up accolades. In 2005, he won the Turkish Cup. 2006, he was the FIBA Europe Under-20 Championship MVP. And in 2009, he won the Spanish League and the Spanish Super Cup. Ilyasova was proving to be a winner on the court. The now 35-year-old Turkish Ilyasova was clearly a winner before going to the NBA, and he had a solid career as a role player once he made it to the league. Nobody can take that away from him. But what if I told you 35 is not his real age, or that he's not actually Turkish, or that his name might not even be Ersan Ilyasova? I started this video asking who exactly is Ersan Ilyasova, but really, who exactly is Ersan Ilyasova? Well, let's go back in time for a moment. The year is 2003. Ersan Ilyasova is playing in Istanbul for the junior Turkish basketball team Ulker. Ilyasova's team had just won the Turkish Junior Basketball Championship, but the title was under scrutiny. The Uzbekistan Basketball Federation had sent a letter to FIBA in protest of this championship. More specifically, Uzbekistan was protesting Ersan Ilyasova. The letter to FIBA claimed that Ilyasova became a Turkish citizen by illegal means, without the Federation's knowledge or permission. They were claiming that Ersan Ilyasova is actually a citizen of Uzbekistan that went missing named Arsen Ilyasov. What's believed is that Arsen Ilyasov crossed the border into Turkey and went missing and all documentation for Arsen Ilyasov suddenly vanished. A month after Arsen's disappearance, a Turkish man went to the authorities and said he forgot to register his son as a citizen. Since the boy had no documentation, he was then registered as a Turkish resident named Ersan Ilyasova. Another part of this is that Arsen was 18 when he ran away from Uzbekistan, but when Ersan was registered in Turkey a month later, he was registered as a 15 year old. This means if these theories are true, Ersan Ilyasova is actually three years older than the birthday we see him listed at online. He isn't currently 35, that would make him 38. While this doesn't seem like a big deal currently, think about when he was playing junior basketball growing up. He could have been playing in the U20s as a 23 year old and winning MVP awards on top of that. This is the reasoning behind Uzbekistan's complaint to FIBA. They believe if Ersan Ilyasova truly was Arsen Ilyasov, a kid faking his identity, then he is not the age he says he is, then he's technically cheating. Uzbekistan may have also just filed this in anger due to someone fleeing the country. Or maybe it could come down to religion as well. Tensions were very high at the time. Uzbekistan separated from the Soviet Union in 1991, and around the early 2000s, they had a lot of issues as a country when it came to Islamic fundamentalism. At one point, an Islamic movement tried to overthrow the government, so it created tension for the whole country when it came to religion. Ersan Ilyasova is Muslim, so it would make sense that he and his family would want to possibly escape and find new lives somewhere else. So they left for Turkey and started new identities. The cool thing about this theory is that it doesn't really have a bad ending. If Ersan Ilyasova is actually Arsen Ilyasov, the biggest thing he's guilty of is lying about his age when he was younger. At this point, who cares if he was three years older than people 20 years ago playing junior Turkish basketball? Yeah, it may have given him an advantage at the time, but the age thing did not impact him later in life when it came to his NBA play. You have people of all ages playing professional basketball. It sounds like him and his family did what they thought was best for them, and you can't blame anyone for doing that. As of right now, a lot of reports and evidence seem like this could very well be true. Ersan Ilyasova could be Arsen Ilyasov and gone through all of this. Or maybe we're all wrong in thinking this, and it's just another crazy theory on the internet. 
We just can't confirm anything 100% and maybe we never will. Alright guys, thanks for watching the vid. Feel free to like the video if you enjoyed and check out my channel for more NBA content. If you enjoy the channel, make sure you subscribe as well, so that way you can keep up with more videos in the future. As always, have a good one and peace.